What's up guys, welcome to V-Sexualization, Nestor Adriansen here again. Guys, today we will learn one of the hottest topics in Power BI, Artificial Intelligence, or also called AI in Power BI. So, are you guys ready? Let's get started. For today's tutorial, I have four different points. We're gonna learn three different AI visuals, Q&A, key influencers, and also the composition tree. And finally, guys, as always, I have a really nice case to go over these three different visuals, okay? So let's go to the first point, Q&A. The Q&A feature in Power BI lets you explore your data in your own words by allowing you to ask natural language questions and then providing you with answers to those questions. So this visual is very helpful if you don't have a lot of knowledge, for example, in Power BI, right? You don't know how to use this tool. By using this visual, you can ask any question and you can automatically get answers. So basically, you will be empowering your end users, right? You will giving them control so this is a really, really nice tool. And we have an example about this as well. So now let's go to the second point, key influencers. So the key influencers visual helps you understand the factors that are affecting a specific metric. It analyzes your data for you, ranks the factors that matter, and then displays those factors as key influencers. This is also a really nice tool this is a really nice AI visual, and we also have an example about this, okay? So let's keep going, guys. Let's go to the next point. So now let's talk about the composition tree. So the decomposition tree visual automatically aggregates your data and lets you drill down into your dimensions so that you can view your data across multiple dimensions. So decomposition tree is an AI visual and you can use it for exploration and conducting root cause analysis, okay? This is also another great AI visual and we also have an example, okay? So now let's go to the next point. So now let's take a look at this case. Here we have basically a general question. The question is create a Q&A key influencers and the composition tree visuals in Power BI Desktop. And we also have right here some directions, right? Analyze claim amount costs in the key influencers and the composition tree visuals. Okay, so please keep that in mind. And now let's jump into Power BI Desktop. Okay, so here we are in Power BI Desktop. I'm going to share with you guys also this report. So this information, so you can have it and follow the example along. Okay, but basically here we have three different tables. We have dates, which is the calendar table. And we also have the claims table with more data there. And finally, we also have a DAX measures table with three different measures, okay? So having that in mind, so let's start working on the first AI visual Q&A. So for this visual, we have three different options to make this appear on your canvas. The first option is by double clicking on the canvas. How do we do this? Check this out. Double click right here, boom. There it is. So now you have the visual there and then you can start playing, right? So how about if we type premium amount by city? Okay, let's select this and let's see what happens. And let's expand this. Aha, uh -huh. there you go. Can you see that? So that's what happens, right? And we're gonna make a couple of adjustments here to have more space here, okay? See? So we have the answer right away and we have right there the visual. So if we wanna transform this into a visual, we can do that. Check this out, boom, there you go. Now you have this visual premium amount by city. And also if you wanna make a couple of changes here, we can do that data label here, there you go. So the second option is basically quite straightforward. So let's select right here the icon 
Q&A icon right here. Let's select this one right here and let's see what happens. Boom, there you go. Now you have also that option there. So we can start playing here. For example, we can type right here, claim cost amount if we want. So automatically you can see a car there, right? But we can add something else here by, we can also say city here, okay, if we want. There you go. See right there, we have different cities and also we have the claim cost amount by city. If you wanna convert this into a visual, right? Turn this Q&A result into a standard visual, we can do that as well. Click right here, boom. And then you can also keep playing here, right? Uh, we can add labels here if we want, there you go. Perfect. So that was the second option. The third option is by inserting a button. How do we do that? Check this out. Let's go to insert here and then button. And finally, there is here the option, right? Let's select this option here and let's see what happens. Automatically, we can see this icon here. So that means that this is something that we need to ask a question, right? We can ask a question here if we want, check this out. But before we ask the question, so how about if we add a title here? So let's say, ask any question, there you go. So now we have this button and we know that we need to ask questions if we wanna get answers here, right? So in order to make this work, so how about if we follow the instructions here? Control plus click here to follow link. Let's do that. Control, click, boom. Now you can ask questions here as well. How about if we ask premium amount by eight year, okay? And let's see what happens, boom. This is a line chart, right? So. Here we have the evolution, the historical information about premium amount since 2010, right? Perfect. That's how it works, my friends. And now, after you got your answers, you can close it if you want. See, that's how it works. That was the first visual, the first AI visual called Q&A. Now let's go to the next visual. So now let's take a look at the key influencers visualization, okay? So the first thing that we wanna do here is select the key influencers icon on the visualizations pane. All right, let's do that. Boom, there you go. Let's expand this. And then the next step here is to select a column, okay? So we wanna select this column called claim cost. And this is gonna be part of the analyze option there, okay? The next, Step here is to select explain by fields. So we're gonna select right here two different fields. The first one is gonna be category, which is this one right here, right? And then the next one is gonna be product claim, this one right here. So we wanna see how these fields are influencing the claim cost, okay? So right away, we can see the results here. So the top two key influencers are PlayStation, right? This is the pro claim, PlayStation right here. Can you see? PlayStation, and then the category is living room. So that's how it works, my friends. Check this out. See right there? And how do we read this? Here's how we read this, okay? When pro claim is PlayStation, the average of claim cost increases by $256, okay? And see right here is the PlayStation product claim, right? How about if we select the other key influencer, which is living room, select that, there you go. So this is the main influencer here. So that's how it works. Another option here, if we wanna keep exploring, right? So we can also see what influences claim cost to decrease. We can do that. There you go. So you can see here, we have four options, right? Pro claim is microwave. There you go, there it is. And also category is kitchen. And another pro claim is also printer, right? And finally, 
that product line belongs to the office category. So basically that's how it works, my friends. And also if we wanna go back to increase, check this out, and we only care about the influencers, we can do that, check this out, boom. Product claim, PlayStation, you can see that. We can change this as well. So the category is just a living room. So guys, that's how it works. This is very, very helpful, okay? Let's undo these changes here. And then you can you can keep playing, right? So this is a really nice tool if we want to identify key influencers. Then you can also filter here, top segments. You can see, right? Segment one, segment two. And these are the amounts. You can also keep playing with this awesome tool. That's how it works, my friends. And now let's jump into the next AI visual, decomposition tree, okay? This is a really nice one as well. So the first thing that we wanna do here is basically select the icon on the visualization pane. Boom, let's expand this. There you go. And now what we wanna do here is the following. Let's select any aggregated value. For this particular case, we're gonna select the claim cost amount. This is a measure, okay? It's right there. Let's release there. Boom, perfect. And then for the explain by fields, we're gonna select three, category, product claim, and state. Let's do that. So we have right here, category, boom, product claim, it's right there right and then finally stay there you go perfect so basically we are trying to understand why the claim cost amount is three hundred and ninety six thousand dollars what the main drivers are in order to make this work we need to select this plus symbol here okay let's do that and here we have a few options we have right here high value low value and also we have the three fields that we already talk about, right? So my recommendation is that you can self plane with these first two, high value. So for this particular case, let's do that and let's see what happens. Boom. So this field is the one that give us the high value, right? So we have living room, we have office, we have kitchen there as well. So we can keep going here if we want. So let's do that, the same thing here, and high value, and we can see product claim, right? And then we can keep going here if we want, we can do that here as well. There you go, see? Just trying to identify the root cause, right? So we have a claim cost amount of 396,000, and then we have three factors here. For category, we have the living room, right? And the main driver here for living room is PlayStation. And then which state has the highest value? Apparently in Tennessee, we have a lot of people who love PlayStation and then make more claims. And as a consequence, we see that that's one of the main drivers to have a higher claim cost amount. So basically guys, that's how it works. So what do you think? Do you find these tools helpful? I personally love these tools because it helps me understand my data. So now let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have there. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you found this content helpful. If so, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.